Hi there, this is Greg, and I'm here with my son Grayson, and we're spending a rainy Saturday afternoon turning all of this into that. What are we building, Grayson? The hex bug. That's me. It comes with convex children, and this is how you spell a hex bug. It's just like one hex, but instead of an H for like vex, it's in V, so yeah. Pretty different. Yep, so we've got lots of plastic and metal pieces, little pegs, all kinds of stuff that we're going to start putting together right now. Sound like a plan? Plan. So, now we opened up everything up. So we have like plastic, metal, stick on pieces, and hard, and engine. Brains and controller engines and other pieces and like the snap on pieces which would snap on like this. So should we start building? Yep we should. Alright, where's the instructions? Put, like, Show how big the instruction book is, buddy. The, and the instructions will look like this, so it's really big. And it has lots of like All right, let's in it. let's yeah, start let's with step building. let's start with page number 1. Now we put the body together which is this and the feet together which is these and we just put these pieces together which I think are going to be the arms. So, we're going to build it some more. So yeah. So we are now 42 pages into our build and we've got something coming together. Um, you can see we've got sort of the four leg pieces. Um, not really sure yet what this, if we've even got them right. It's a little bit hard to tell. You can see there's all these plastic pieces that are bending and folding and that that will create the movement of the legs. I'm just not sure we've got it put together properly. So we may have to do some adjustments, but so far, so good. So here we are on page 60, of, finished up page 60 of the instructions. You can see here we've built basically one half of the, of the strand beast. Uh, we've got four legs going on here, and we've finally attached the first motor. So we're also starting to build up the other side. So this thing is going to be huge when it's all done and uh, we're going to keep going. So now that we've hit page 100 in the instructions, you can see we've got two halves, we've got the motors attached, the next part is going to be building the, uh, I guess the body of it and attaching the legs. So after three hours of assembly and fingers that are pretty sore from putting all those little plastic pieces together, we have, as you can see, the finished hex bug. It's a lot bigger than we thought it was going to be. Um, a lot of times when you get stuff, it looks a lot bigger on the box. This is actually one of those rare cases where it was a lot bigger in real life than it looked on the box. So there's two ways you can operate this with the remote control. One is manual mode where you have a dual stick control to move it. So one stick controls the front and back on the left, one stick controls the right. Then you can also get into programming it, which we haven't really played with yet, but let's give you a demo of how this thing moves around. Jaina, fire it up. So you can see it walks really well. You can forward back, and now if Jaina pushes one up and one down, we can actually turn it in place. You can see those eight legs working away there. It's a little finicky. Um, I think we still have to kind of play around with tightening things up, but uh, that is one of the challenges. The plastic holds really well together, but if you can see there are shiny metal rods that run through and rubber washers on each side that kind of hold them in place. Those tend to be the difficult pieces. They slide in and out a little too much. It's hard to get them quite in place. But as you can see, once you get it together, it's a, it's a sizable robot toy, and once we get into the programming, I think we're going to learn even more cool things. Plus, it's just kind of creepy to watch it walk. So if you're looking for a great family afternoon for the engineering-minded families, and you want a cool robot to play with, 
Uh, definitely, definitely check out the, the Hex Bug. This one's the Strand Beast. I think there's three other kinds. And as it's coming towards me, um, looks a little scary there. I'm going to say see you later and uh, check out our other videos. Have a great one.